is thy faithfulness, O God, my Father. There is no shadow of turning with thee. Thou changest not thy compassions, they fail not. As thou hast been. Good morning and welcome to Prayer and Devotion on this Wednesday. Today is Wednesday, October 12th. That was Fernando Ortega. Fernando Ortega singing a different version of Great Is Thy Faithfulness from his album, The Shadow of Your Wings. The Shadow of Your Wings. So I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, um, I really like that one as well. And today we're going to be looking at Isaiah. Isaiah 25, 1. Isaiah 25, 1. And our devotion today is entitled, sorry, Our Unique Call. Our Unique Call. But let me say good morning to all of you. Good morning, Barbara and Vinette. It's good to have you here this morning, praying for both of you. And Daniel and Gail, welcome, holding you in prayer today. Good morning, Celia and Janet. I'm glad you're here, praying for you. Good morning, Michelle and Donna. Welcome, praying for you this morning. And good morning, Janet and Blanca. 
<laughs> glad you're both here praying for you and Esther and Augusta welcome holding you in prayer today good morning Barbara Dawson and Renetta I'm glad you're with us holding you in prayer and Genevieve and Lisa it's good to have you here as well holding you both in prayer Good morning, Sue, and good morning, Lavake. I'm glad you're here, praying for you today. And good morning, Betty. It's good to have you here as well, holding you in prayer, holding all of us in prayer as we start this day. So today, um, and Ingrid, glad you're here too, praying for you. Um, today we are in Isaiah 25, one, just one verse. I'm gonna read it for you twice. Um, and as you open up your Bibles to Isaiah 25, uh, my name is Cindy Stauffer. I am blessed to serve as a pastor at the United Methodist Church at New Brunswick. Uh, we are on the corner of George and Liberty Street in the heart of the city of New Brunswick. And Anyway, I'm just wondering if I said good morning to Yola. I'm sorry if I didn't. This is where my brain goes in the early morning. But so glad you're with us and so glad that you are being that you are able to walk now. Prayers continue for you. Um, so back to what I was saying. <laughs> I'm the pastor at the United Methodist Church in New Brunswick. Um, it's good to be with all of you today. So let's take a look at Isaiah chapter 25 and Debbie good to have you with us too Debbie thank you for sharing that with me yesterday so Isaiah 25 1 tells us this O oh Lord you are my God I will exalt you I will praise your name for you have done wonderful things plans formed of old faithful and sure. One more time. Oh Lord, you are my God. I will exalt you. I will praise your name for you have done wonderful things, plans formed of old, faithful and true. So, our uh, devotion this morning comes from Henry Nouwen's book, Bread for the Journey, and it is entitled, Our Unique Call. And this is what he says. So many terrible things happen every day that we start wondering whether the few things we do ourselves make any sense. When people are starving just miles away, when wars are raging close to our borders, when countless people in our cities have no homes to live in, our own activities look futile. Such considerations, however, can paralyze and depress us. Here, the word here, um, uh, not here, sorry. I, I know you're not seeing what I'm, I'm seeing. Here the word call becomes important. We are not called to save the world, solve all problems and help all people. But each of us has our own unique call in our families, in our work, in our world. We have to keep asking God to help us see clearly what our call is and to give us the strength to live out that call with trust. Then we will discover that our faithfulness to a small task is the most healing response to the illnesses of our time. Our faithfulness to a small task is the most healing response to the illnesses of our time. Um, yeah, so recently, uh, 
we just did a whole sermon series on call and and what is our call. Um, and at the same time, we as a church, um, the United Methodist Church of New Brunswick, and and possibly the larger United Methodist Church, and maybe some of your churches as well, are try trying to make decisions post-pandemic. Um, what are the things that we're doing that we can keep doing? What are the things that we need to look at and to maybe do in a different way? Um, and what are the things that we're doing that we're going to be able to keep up and, and will be sustainable for, for the future that actually will bring healing? But in the midst of these conversations, there is this like nagging thought um, or nagging voice inside myself that's always like, it's not enough. Like, yes, but it's not enough. Like that's, that's like, there's so much. There's so much to do. There's so much need. There's so much um, uh, brokenness. There's so much, uh, so many people that are in need. There's not enough uh, of of whatever it is to go. And sometimes I think it's there's not enough of me. There's not enough of 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 our community to deal with all of these things. And it can get really overwhelming on days, feeling like, I mean, is anything gonna change? Is it always going to be the same? Maybe you felt this way. I know that I have. Which is why I really appreciate Henry Nouwen's call today. Henry Nouwen's devotion today, as he talks about our unique call because the truth is we're not enough for all of it and nor are we supposed to be enough for all of it. We are only supposed to do what we are called to for this day. Now that is not a, um, a chance for us to be like, yeah, so people don't need me too much, so don't worry about it. But it is, <laughs> it is a reminder that we can only deal with what it is that we are called to deal with or to do or to care for or to whatever it is. And so then the question comes, so what am I called to do? Where is the place that I'm called to be? How can I help? Am I called to address this situation over here? Where is that not my call? Do I walk away from that? And I think the thing that has always been helpful to me is to to be able to to look at where I'm standing. We can't address every need, but we can be present in the place where we are. We're not all called to go overseas. We are not all called to be working on the streets of New Brunswick with the people that are living on the streets. But where we are standing, we are called to be God's compassion and love. And so today, where are you? Where is the need that is around you? And how are you present to it? And, and the way that we're present is different for each person. For some person it might be, you know, I just, I've got a lot of financial gifts and I see this need over here. I know they're coming up with the, uh, the town clock is having their big fundraiser that helps to provide housing for women that are coming out of domestic violence situations. Like maybe, maybe that is your call that God is saying like, financially that I want to give to that or I want to give to this ministry that's happening and maybe finances are not your gift but being present and listening to someone is and God is calling you to stop and listen this day we don't have to deal with everything but we do need to look and see where God is calling us and sometimes it's right where we're standing 
that day as long as we're willing to open our eyes and see and our hearts uh, with compassion and mercy for those around us. Um, so what is your unique call? You don't have to do everything, but God is calling you to something this day. What are the things, just as we have a God that has been faithful to us, as our scripture reminded us today, how will we be faithful to listen for God's voice? Let us pray. God, we come before you this day and we see the ever-growing need in the world around us. We face uh, so many challenges as a nation, as a, as a world. We face so many challenges in the places where we dwell, in our homes, in our workplaces, on the streets where we commute to work or come to church. Sometimes, Lord, it is overwhelming and easier to just do nothing because it feels like Anything we do would be inconsequential. Forgive us, Lord. For we know that you have called each one of us for a purpose and for a plan. And even when it is small, Lord, lead us in ways that help bring life to the world around us, to the people around us. Teach us, Lord, to be faithful in the small things that we might grow to be faithful in all things. Lead us, Lord, this day as we seek to follow your call. We ask all of this in your precious name, Lord Jesus, as together we pray the prayer that you taught your disciples. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom and the power and the glory forever. Amen. So this day, what is the places that God is calling you to be faithful to? Not everything just one place, maybe two places, I don't know. But let's keep our, our, our hearts and our ears and our minds open to what God might be calling us to today. God loves you, my friends. And God needs us. God loves you, and so do I. Have a very blessed day.